Memories brought to you by telecom. It was so sad leaving my country to come to Australia. <laughs> At the airport I cried and cried and cried. Nobody came to see me off. <laughs> not even my fiancée Gina. She said, I'm not going to the airport, my hair's a mess. <laughs> I said, don't worry, you can wear slacks. <laughs> No, no, she's a proud woman. So I arrive in Australia with nothing but a string bag full of olives and holy medals and the six million lira, which I spent on a newspaper. <laughs> That's when I remembered I couldn't read English, not even a sign the post. And sitting in the rain outside the airport, I didn't know where to go. So when no one was looking, I went in a phone box. <laughs> But now, I've been here six years, I can read English much more well than I used to did. <laughs> in fact, now, I am hardly ever without a newspaper in my hand. I sell them at traffic lights. <laughs> and I've got a second job reading the news on SBS Televis. <laughs> Soon, I'll have enough money to bring my little Gina out to join me. Oh, it's been a lonely six years without a... without a Gina. <laughs> And whenever I'm missing my Gina like that, it's good to know I can reach for the phone and cheer myself up. Hello, Methodist Ladies College. Ah, what are you wearing, cutie? <laughs> <laughs> 